I feel we as a society. This program is very emotional. We have people from all kinds of different races here. For lunch. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow at lunch. Okay. Without explaining why, Jeffrey asked his dad to give him lunch money. Dad, what? Can I have lunch money for tomorrow, please? Get lost. I'm not for the 76ers. He said no. The next day. Where's my money? I can not get it. What? I'll double it tomorrow. You better. Having promised the bully even more money, Jeffrey feels he has no choice but to steal it from his brother. Jeffrey returns to give the bully the money and thinks all of his problems are over. I got your money! Thanks. You better give it to me tomorrow too. Same time, same place. If you give in to bullying, you will continue to be bullied. If you were Jeffrey, what would you do? Unable to get more money, Jeffrey comes up with a new plan of action. You watch SpongeBob? Yeah. Did you see yesterday when he jumped off the building and walked into a room with pieces? No, what happened? He, he jumped off and then he just broke into a room with pieces. And oh, then, I'm okay. Last night, didn't you see it? No. Jeffrey's plan to sneak to school fails. Where's my lunch money? My lunch money. The fight is broken up by a school peacemaker. How does fight start? These people are beating me up for my lunch money. Why? Just because. Do you know that it's against the rules I can get you suspended? Suspended? Don't tell, don't tell, don't tell. You better make sure it doesn't happen again. If this happens again, make sure you tell me. Okay. With the help of a peacemaker and the school's anti-bullying rules, Jeffrey's problems are solved. Almost. What? I have to tell you something. What? I lost your money. I took your money. What? To pay off this bully at school. Uh, so, did you get it back? No. Oh, uh, okay. What are you gonna do about it? Pay it off for the uh, next three months? You better, and good money. <laughs>